A yoo-hoo and a hello to you, my little mysterious muffins. Thank you for joining us once again on Class Clown Series for our edition of Provinces and Territories in Canada. Behind the camera is Sina, the producer of the show, and I am still Sarah, your host for today and maybe tomorrow. Today's province we're going to talk about Newfoundland and Labrador. So let's pause for a second and think about pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Labrador is pronounced as the dog is Labrador, but the name that precedes it is Newfoundland. <laughs> All right, so not Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. That's a common mistake. Guys. Common mistake if you're just reading it off the paper, but it is Newfoundland. Right. All right. There's another city that is commonly mispronounced, Sarah. That's true. Mm -hmm. And that place is called not Ottawa, but we Canadian or English Canadians say Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> with the know, attitude. Like Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Like Ottawa. Exactly. Or Ottawa. We wow wow wow. Maybe a little too much. All right. <laughs> All right. You can choose the version you like, but Ottawa. yes, always Excellent. be, you know, careful with pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Labrador. Arf, arf. Newfoundland and Labrador is the most easterly point in North America, and it has its own time zone. Fancy. In addition to its natural beauty, the province has a unique heritage linked to the sea the oldest colony of the British Empire and a strategic prize in Canada's early history, the province has long been known for its fisheries, coastal fishing villages, and distinct culture. Today, offshore oil and gas extraction <laughs> contributes a substantial part of the economy. Labrador also has immense hydroelectric resources. Two! What do you think about that, guys? I'm actually curious now. For those who don't live in Canada, does your country have a lot of natural resources? Mm -hmm. Some don't. Mm -hmm. Some don't. Mm -hmm. um, if I may add a side note, I did live in a country where um, it was a very small country, and it didn't have many natural resources of its own to speak of, so a lot of their goods uh, and a lot of the things that they used on a day-to-day -day basis was exported, or sorry, imported from mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. And not exported because they didn't have anything to export. Right. Besides rice. All right. So that was my little digression. Hope you enjoyed it. And now for a little more information. Newfoundland and Labrador has two parts, a one-two. The island in the Pacific Ocean, that is the Newfoundland part, and the part that is connected to the mainland of Canada is, you guessed it, arf, 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 Labrador sun. <laughs> oh yeah. This province is proud to say it is one of the safest and welcoming places to live in North America. Or the world. Yeah. Some people could say. Some people could say. Mm -hmm. But this website did say that <laughs> it's one of the safest in North America, and that right. includes the United States too. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't doubt them. Mm -hmm. I don't. A lot of provinces in Canada know that immigrants are here for a reason, and that could be that it's such a safe place to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, the governments and the people of Canada appreciate what they need to do to become a productive member of society. So, immigrants, we welcome you. If you look at the Canadian government website and click on boop, Newfoundland and Labrador, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So yes, I do encourage you to do more research and you'll get Canada way more... Canada.ca Canada.ca .ca .ca guys. Right. Yes, if you look there, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, while this province has its own history and culture, it also provides a more modern take on its transportation. They offer a more modernized transportation system and other conveniences you may think 
such a picturesque place might not have. But guess what? They do. Mm-hmm. They do do? They do do do. <laughs> right, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, food, traditions, music, and arts are among the things to enjoy in this province as well. Just looking at some recipes, yes, I did look for some recipes because I too wanted to know, like, what kind of food and culture are they offering exactly? Mm -hmm. I want to know. Sarah's a foodie. I'm a big old foodie. <laughs> Gotta love my food. A little too much. Rub a dub dub. <laughs> but yes, I was looking for some recipes online and um, I saw, what did I see? Old fashioned mm -hmm. pan fried squid. Ooh, yum. Something called tutons, which are like little fried pieces of bread. They looked very cute and they're fried in pork fat, like uh, a delicious. Oh, okay. Codfish stew, rabbit pie, and some Newfoundland snowballs. And that snowballs. was a- Snowballs? Yeah, snowballs. Wow. Like it's a dessert there. So I'm already getting a feel for the cultural profile just by looking at dishes like these. And for you, feel free to do your own research. We recommend a website that has fact checked and of course it is Canada.ca. .ca. And on this website, you can also download a handy dandy PDF file like this, but PDF version. Mm -hmm. Discover Canada. The rights it is. and responsibilities of citizenship. Ooh, girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's a nice little handy study guide if you need to do things like pass a certain citizenship test. Uh -huh. All right. Good luck with that, guys. Good luck, and thank you for joining us, and we look forward to you tuning into another episode. Bye-bye. Uh, Happy learning.